Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another glorious Worker Wednesday, where we shall continue building our prosperous Soviet Republic. Man, I honestly, this is just one of those games that stays with you. The other day, actually, I was like, I think I was going grocery shopping or something, and uh, I got the tune, like this song, stuck in my head, and I was like, where is this song from? God, this game is good. But on the topic of grocery shopping, Ladies and gentlemen, we, we are still trying to solve problems, uh, which is, I think, going to be the priority of this episode before we transition into the next big conversation off in the distance. And I promise you that uh, that that grocery store story was not a plant. The moment the words grocery store left my mouth, I was like, oh, dear, <laughs> maybe not the best uh, anecdote to bring up right now. Uh, but folks, uh, lots of stuff going on. We're finally seeing some progress over here. We might see some of these blocks fill up. I will have to get an apartment. No, not an apartment. I will have to get a train coming over from Veterinkograd carrying just passengers, I think, to ensure that we get, um, you know, some of the the population moving out to that far off land over there uh, because otherwise I think those houses will likely stay empty which is going to be a bit of a problem. Apart from that things are looking pretty good. We've got uh, Rostinsky uh, you know up and running properly. That's old news now though which is crazy to think about. Such a major project has become old news. Anyway moving on to new news I suppose let's get to work more or less right away. Uh, I've uh, So first things first folks as always, if you've been enjoying the series, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like and a comment down below. And there's a couple reasons for that. Now, one, I take a look at the likes and the comments to get an understanding of interest levels. You know, are people still watching? Do people still want more? And it lets me make decisions like keep going at my current speed, which is what you guys are telling me in the comments based on your reactions and whatnot. So do please keep leaving those likes and comments. But beyond that, I also do read all the comments. So whether you're doing the mathematical calculations to figure out how many dollars we have as opposed to rubles, or you're making fun of the fact that our uh, escapades with laying down railroad tracks always ends in tragedy, uh, or you're telling me that I should speed up the opening and play more at double speed or whatever it might be, whether it's feedback or it's just, you know, comedy, whatever it might be, uh, I read it and I take it into account. So keep them coming. Keep them coming is what I'm getting at. Uh, and, and one of the pieces of feedback I received is that I should maybe pick up the pace a little bit uh, in the opening, which is what I'm going to start doing as of the next session because I've already rambled on for so long at the start of this one. Uh, but we will be, yes, trying to play more at double speed. Uh, and I feel a bit more comfortable with going at double speed now that we've seen our train issues have mostly been fixed. I'll have to keep an eye out on this area. Um, Though it does look like our uh, construction vehicles are coming around this way now, so that shouldn't be a problem. But apart from that, we should be able to play on double speed for the most part. Uh, with that said, we're going to start today at single speed because there's some management stuff I want to do. And I hate when things are zipping by when you're trying to manage things. Uh, but I promise we'll be picking the pace up. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and kick things off. We're at 2.8 million. I think today's the day we hit three. Uh, the month is looking good. Last month was... Pretty good this year so far. It's been alright. Nothing compared to last year, but it's only February. So, you know, give it some time, folks. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick up the pace here to single speed and uh, get some work done. Now, I, I do have a question I want to posit. Um, do we? Now, it's very possible that I get to work on this already today, so maybe there's no need to answer it. But do we get to work on our second city ASAP, which would be either today or next session? Uh, or do we start by building a few final pieces to the puzzle of, you know, Vecherinkograd. Do we want to take a look at building, say, the uh, uh, radio station or perhaps the TV station? I do want to look at some of those things to sort of cap off Vecherinkograd. Of course, we'll keep growing it afterwards. I mean, we are, after all, still developing parts of it. Uh, do we want to do that first or do we want to kind of rush to that second city? That's something to think about. It's something I've been mulling over since the last episode. Uh, so just let me know. So uh, b before we get to that second city, there's only a couple of things left to do. I think. I think. Um, one of those is to figure out this food situation. And I want to manage, like I said, at the top of this episode, the transportation and delivery of meat and food to this cargo station and to this meat storage uh, area from all of the trucks and then redeploy, so to speak, new trucks, I guess it actually would be, uh, to go from these, the meat storage and the food or the warehouse to the uh, shopping center over here and to the shopping center over here. 
and hopefully this thing is almost done over here yeah it's almost done and we can see how people use this shopping center uh, hopefully relieving some of the stress from down here so yeah that's uh part of the plan for today so first things first we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get our uh truck over here you my good sir are not going to go there anymore you're gonna go over here to drop off 100 percent of the meat And then let's go ahead and get rid of that. Yeah. I don't know why it suddenly bumped up or down. I didn't know exactly what happened there, but the numbers changed and it stopped me for a second. Wow. The, okay. Holy crap. Hold on. Wait, 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 go, go, go. Empty your meat into the, oh no, that sounds terrible. Don't demonetize me, YouTube, please. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the, uh, the literal load of literal meat back at the shopping center first because we might as well and uh, then it can be on its merry way I figure might as well right no what are you I hate when like the obvious things don't get automatically done this poor driver over here you turning right out the gate unload everything wait until unloaded there's 0.47 left right how long will that take to finish oh it'll take forever Let's get you moving. Okay, now we can get rid of this. I'm fine with that. Um, that's suddenly emptied. Oh, yeah, okay, it's fast. Keep forgetting how fast it actually is. Uh, all right, so that's this one, and then we have another truck hopefully coming through as well with some food. Maybe let's let them drop things off over here first. You are going to go straight to this warehouse. Road cargo station. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Tell me you can store... ...stuff. Ooh, I can't remember now. I can't remember now. I remember why I put this place down in the first place, but... Oh yeah, it's not able to store a lot. The meat storage can store a lot, of course, because it's storage, but this is not a warehouse. This is a road cargo station. God... Damn. Alright, so I guess we will still need the warehouse. I knew I'd forgotten something. I knew I'd forgotten something. Now, do you have another connection? You do. Those are where those Serbian cuss words come to mind again. Um, alright. damn. If I am going to swap this out to a warehouse, then I'm going to do it right away. Like, I'm going to pay for it. Uh, can't keep, um can't keep waiting for things to get built, especially when we have a stable economy. What am I looking for? I'm looking for... How did I... How did I mess that up? I could have sworn I had outright said I wanted it to be a warehouse and not a, um... Not just a, uh, road cargo station. And yet, somehow... Yet, somehow, I messed it up. Because if I put it here, it's a nice central location. So yeah, I can, I can go ahead and destroy some of the things over here. I know I thought about it. And I'll just pay for the new one. Yeah. I'll just pay for the new one. Let's go ahead and find you. Make sure we set you aside. And we're, yeah, we're going to pay for it. This is a bit, this is really frustrating. You know what? Maybe there was some logic to what I did over here, but I can't remember it now. And I am paying the price for it now. Damn, that's, uh, I feel like a bit of a fool, but it is what it is. Now, I just want to mention, actually, another thing I should have mentioned, folks. Uh, I have had the worst migraine since I've had in a very long time today, and it's kind of still on my head right now. It's still, still really hurting. So if I, if I sound a little different, not just in terms of, uh, my voice or, uh, but more in the sense of, like, I'm taking time to say certain, finish certain sentences or find the warehouse for a second time within a span of, you know, two minutes. Uh, that's the reason, and I apologize for that. Um, I'm not feeling well, but I also didn't want to deprive you guys of uh, Worker Wednesday this week. Uh, so yes, please bear with me if I ever have moments <laughs> which are, you know, uh, clear lapses of judgment. It's because I am currently suffering a severe amount of pain. Alright. There we go. And, nope, sorry. Let's go ahead and make sure you're getting built. I'm going to pay for it, don't worry. And let's go ahead and make sure you're going to get built here as well. Okay. There we go. There we go. And there 
we go. All right, anytime I come close to a nice milestone, something's got to stop me. Something's got to stop me. This is actually going to take a while to build. Again, I'm hoping that through repeated deliveries, this can become a bit of a hub for, uh, for food storage, both meat and regular food. Unload, wait until unloaded. The question is, do I actually want to have a cargo station? Because cargo stations move, like, goods faster. So I could do that as well, build it over here, right? Um, where am I? Looking for the road cargo station. Down over here. Would it fit? Not entirely, no. Not, not, not exactly. I could put it down over here as well. Now that's the connection to the store, or to, yeah, that's the store. Um, I could put it down over here and make this a bridge. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I wonder if I could do... Hmm. That'd be interesting to put it down over here and have the road go over top of the uh, the factory connections. Feels like it might end up being a waste of space, though, ultimately. This is such an awkward, like, space to be in. Now, the road cargo station has... What, two drop-off points, does it? For now, I'm not going to go through that undertaking, but uh, if we end up feeling like the one drop-off point at the warehouse is not good enough... And there's the tracks here as well. I don't know. I don't know what I was... It's okay. We've got plenty of space. We can always adjust our decisions over here later if need be. Fine. Cool. So you, you're bringing food down over to here. You're going to head back. Cargo train station. You're going to pick up food. I can wait until you're loaded. No, we're not going to do that. I come back and you drop food off over here. The food's going to immediately get pulled over to this shopping center. But if there's a surplus, different trucks are going to come pick it up. Okay. Over here, we're going to get meat coming. All right. Sorry. I'm like... I knew there was logic, but uh, I'm starting to second guess some of the decisions I made. Uh, while you're making your way over here, for the meat storage, this vehicle, I want to make sure that we're leaving, um, getting some stress off of the central road. So we're actually going to drop a waypoint down over, uh, say, here. Then we can do this, make sure you go that way, and then loop around. And that should help keep some of the pressure off. Actually, you know what I should have done? Should have put the way waypoint not there, but here. And so now you can go there. And I can also tell the other vehicle to use that same waypoint. And then all the others as well on top of that. There, here, and hopefully that'll force them up this way. Looks like some of the buses and stuff are already starting to use this Route? Oh no, you're just bringing workers down. Fair enough. Fair enough. Meat's just been delivered over here. There's the truck. So let's go ahead and drop you off over there, buddy, please. Uh, meat storage. Unload everything. Here, wait until unloaded. No shopping center for you. Get you over there. Add the waypoint. Alright, there we go. So again, like I said, there's a bit of management that needs to be done. Didn't realize part of it would involve build, destroying and rebuilding one of my structures. And then second guessing that decision all the way through. Alright, so we're getting some clothes over here. Now, clothes I think we're fine with. Yeah, clothes we're fine with the way we've been doing it. We don't need to change that, I don't think. Uh, it's been working so far for us. Now, what are you doing? You're dropping meat off. We're getting plenty of meat over here. Okay, good stuff. And now, the, the fact that this distance is so much shorter uh, should be quite helpful, though I imagine most of the meat storage, most of the meat from the meat storage will be used over here, uh, which is something we're going to have to struggle with. What are you doing? You're bringing alcohol over to the pub. Okay. Go ahead and find our other vehicles here. So from there, I want you to... Well, where are you right now? You're loading up right now. Okay. Well, in that case... In that case, let's go ahead and get you over to here. After you're done loading. Well, there, there. Unload over here. Wait until unloaded. Let's make sure you're taking this waypoint as well. Help, uh, again, force it up this way. Though I can't imagine any vehicle wouldn't do that. What I need to do is I need to find a way to relieve some of the stress from 
here or something. I might want to like extend this road up and pull it down. So that vehicles come down and they take this turn rather than moving all the way down. Oh, well right now they take this turn, which is fine as well, I think. We'll see. We'll see if that works for us. You, let's go ahead. You're the, your clothes. So you're fine. Clothes have been fine so far, so I'm not going to change them up. You from there, I want you to come all the way, all the way, all the way to there. Okay, unload everything. Let's make sure we're using that waypoint. Alright. So this is going to go empty for a little while. Um, so hold your comedy about people starving, okay? <laughs> I know it's happening. It's, a, it's an intentional delay. This is painful. When these road vehicles are moving around, it's painful. And I just, I don't know... Okay, which, uh, which one are you from? Uh, construction office. Just construction office? Yes, just this one. I guess this one does not have any flatbed, so you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of... I'm gonna say we get rid of the bus over here. No, we, we need buses for... God damn. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of one of the excavators, because we got three of them, right? Go ahead and... Sell you. Yeah. We're gonna buy a flatbed here. Because that should... Help us move vehicles. What if I get one with the... Like with a, yeah, I can get 12 tons worth of vehicles on here. Let's try it. Let's try it. I really hope that works because it, we, we're losing it. We're actually wasting a lot of time by not, uh, well, by, by vehicles trailing behind construction vehicles. Like, look at that. It has to go all the way down here because it's heading to this area. And that's fair. It needs to get there somehow. But because I don't have a flatbed, you know, all of these vehicles are being slowed down so much. Fair enough. Fair enough. It is what it is. Uh, you are almost done-ish. Still waiting on some resources, some concrete and stuff. Fair enough. You're fine. All this is okay. Food needs to be dropped off here more. Meat's coming here some more. Okay. You know, I, the other thing is I kind of... Oh, I don't know. Food is not good over here right now. What's the deal? You're slowing things down, eh? Don't wait until loaded. I guess I can't wait to do the, I guess we can't do the whole wait until loaded thing here. Maybe that one, that was the one truck that like got out of uh Well that skipped past me. Is there no alcohol? I guess there isn't. Damn. How not? Not enough crops. Oh, that's how not, because crop Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, the central, like, grain storage might not have been the best call. But at the same time, we need it for the uh, chemical factory down here. The chemical plant, rather. Which continues to produce chemicals. Um, yeah, you're picking them up. Are you pulling the chemicals or no? just can't tell if this is pulling the chemicals from the warehouse. It shouldn't be having any trouble doing that. Doesn't seem like it's pulling any of the crops. That's killing me here. Like, we, we made this intricate plan over here, which, for all intents and purposes, should be working. I don't see why 16 of the 88 tons isn't being drawn into the fabric factory. You know what I mean? Got the factory connection, that's the point of it. That's the point of it. And fabric, I mean, I guess right now fabric is being picked up by a truck or something? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and get the truck out of here. I need to see what's going on over here. I need to see what's going on over here. So crops are coming through. Why are crops coming through right now, as opposed to any other time? And only seven tons. What happened there? Was it when this thing was dropping things off? It looks like it. I guess the surplus? I don't know. What the hell? 
and chemicals are increasing. I'm guessing this is staying at 0 0.05 because it doesn't need any more, like it's a constant flow because fabric is still being made. Okay, yeah, fabric is being made, crops are dropping, but chemicals are not. 9.44 over here. Just gotta see how this all works out. And are we making, yeah, we are making clothes over here. And fabric seems to be going up, but it's not going up over here. So one can only assume that fabric is transitioning right down to there. Right? Right. You're bringing back a lot of crops. Now you are doing what? 7.3 tons of crops. Okay. It's funny how quickly our attention shifts from food and alcohol to... <laughs> oh, well, fair. It's still clothes. Our people still need clothes as well. Now what happened there? You dropped it all off. And this number didn't go up. Yeah, just trying to understand how this system is working. Or rather, I guess, not working. I, I need to pay some more attention to this eventually. Uh, but back to our original topic. Uh, well, our semi-original topic. Uh, I need to get another one of these trucks. Maybe I can do a smaller truck, actually. I need 64 tons now. So let's go ahead and get uh, another one of... Jeez, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Got a decent amount of crops there. Is anything taking... Something's got to be taking... Um, crops to this grain storage, right? Yeah, we got a couple of trucks doing it. Okay, fair, fair, fair. So that train, when it comes down here, is it waiting until loaded? Wait until loaded. There's no reason not to, so wait until loaded. And that should give us the extra crops we need here. I'm working on the entire chain over here. A lot of livestock as well. I'm not going to wait until unloaded, though. Yeah, that'll be good. And then you come up over here, and I, I want to see this journey, because if we can avoid having to um, get another truck just to ship crops into the... Uh, into the, uh, distillery? That'd be good. 11 tons. You didn't wait until loaded. No. No, why? You didn't wait until either of these things were loaded. How does that make any sense? Unless... Livestock and crops take the same space, so to speak. Well, okay, well, when the train arrives over here, it should be able to drop off a large amount of its livestock. Maybe I should wait until unloaded. Just this once. Just for this one cycle. Because, yeah, I don't think crops are going to come anywhere but to the grain storage. Let's see. You arrive. Crops go where? Right up there. Oh, no, you know what? This is getting crops as well. Okay, so the crops do get spread out. Good. And then, of course, the trucks go to the grain storage and distribute it elsewhere. Alright, that's good. So, we do just need to make sure that this train is carrying more crops in every, um... In every, like, rotation. And we can't wait until unloaded, because unfortunately... Meat, there's no meat storage or anything over here. Okay, so let's get you headed back. Let's not load livestock for... Maybe a couple of rotations. And I actually, I want to make sure that it does load up completely. Sorry, folks. I, I, I know we were all hoping that we're, we're going to be done all this stuff. Let's go ahead and double speed a little bit because we're not managing right now. But I need to, I need to so solve the problem at the source. And this seems to be, well, a big part of it. If not the core part of it, it's a big part of it. All right, so now you're going to come back over here. I want to see you load up all of that crop. Can you? Let's see. Because they got plenty of crops. We've got all these big farms. And all this crop just sitting in this grain storage, but it's not getting used because it's not being transported back. Okay. Yeah, I think the issue is that the livestock and the crops use the same type of car. Um, so, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait and see. This might be a bit of a challenge. We're going to let this go back to there. 
I wanted to add another wagon to it. The other thing I could do, another wagon, another car, whatever it might be. Well, uh, another thing I could do is get a second train, a second cargo train that does this trip as well. It'll crowd the tracks up a little bit, but I might just need to add like a relief line somewhere over here, like a third track or something. But it might be necessary just to get things flowing smoothly. Because again, as you can see, there's so much, so much crops waiting to be used. Waiting to be used. And this is just not the best use of uh, use of crops because they're literally just sitting there. So again, let's make sure once you come here, right, everything is going to get its fair share, I imagine. Not the vehicle. Yeah. It's spread out. Everybody gets some crops. Wow, that empties pretty quickly. And this by far got the most. Hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to rework my um, numbers or something here. Like, do I limit the amount of... Uh, crop this can take. I guess I can't really limit the, the grain storage. Do I get another truck? Do I reduce how much these trucks are taking to the uh, food factory and to the uh, warehouse over there? Now what the hell is this? Why are you stuck here? What are you waiting for? Come on. All this kind of time. Meanwhile over here it seems like the fabric factory is functioning. And, and the uh, clothing factory as well. Seems like that's all working smoothly. So that's at least something. Now the food factory does, yes, receive a second dose of crops when the truck arrives. With quite a few crops as well. 12 tons? Yeah. So that's good. I might need to add another uh, train. I need to ship crops back and forth. Not not necessarily more often, but just more of the crops back and forth more often. What a ludicrous amount of crops doing nothing. Anyway, sorry. I, that's like been the focus of this episode. It wasn't supposed to be. Alright, let's go ahead back onto this topic over here. Meat storage is storing meat. Warehouse is storing food. Uh, that's all fine and dandy, but we gotta distribute that stuff, right? Now, I was... Originally, pretty happy with how the shopping center was doing, but lately, it's not been doing so hot. It has not been doing so hot. I feel like there's no need to mess with um, with the shopping center's vehicles. I feel like the shopping center is doing okay. Could use some more clothes right now, but they're on their way over, I think. Another traffic jam over here, well, because this... Couple dudes in a car. Ridiculous, come on. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get some trucks distributing goods from here. Now the question is how many trucks? Maybe just the one. Just the one refrigerated truck for now. Don't know why you're here. Oh, that's why. We don't need you anymore. We'll, we'll repurpose you. So let's go ahead and buy... The refrigerated truck. Two tons at a time? That sounds reasonable. Because if you do two tons at a time, then each shipment can be a complete drop-off, right? Because this is what? One ton. Sure. Go ahead. Pick it up over here. Drop it off over here. Unload completely. Load completely. Go. Start. Is what I meant. Cool. We can also add... How much food is it? It's... Four tons of food. Okay, so we can also add our covered hull. Four tons of food at a time. 4.5? No. Four tons. That's why we like the JE300 so much. Go ahead. You start over here. I imagine they'll go this way. And hopefully they'll go out this way. I could add another waypoint. Over here. Force you to go that way. 
And let's start. Okay. So now, hopefully, we're getting food. Wait until unloaded. Wait until loaded. Food and meat should come more smoothly to this uh, shopping center. Hopefully. <laughs> Goddamn. Now what's the deal over here? Yeah, these vehicles still not using flatbeds, eh? Still not using flatbeds. Where is our train? Another thing that I'm trying to accomplish over here is that once this train has emptied all of its livestock, I might actually pull it back to the depot and add another uh, car to it. Wagon, car, or whatever you want to call it. Now that might actually add some challenges at the beginning. I might also change the actual locomotive because I don't think it's our strongest one leading this one right now. So, uh, that's making it slow on its way to the station. I don't know, do I do that or do I add a second train? I think a second train might be the wiser option if I'm completely honest. Let's see the split over here. I mean, this is a big shipment of, of crops. Not bad. That's not bad. And I'm almost wondering if we stop exporting alcohol and food. How much money does it bring us, right? How much money does it bring us? Export, food, well not this month, let's look at last month. Thousand. 526, you know what? Let's stop it. Stop it. Clothes and fabric, sure. We don't need to export uh, food and alcohol anymore. Our people need it. It's that simple. That simple. Look at that. The distillery is empty. Meanwhile, the grain storage is 35 tons. Those 35 tons will very quickly end up in here. Yeah, it looks like it's, it is drawing. Sorry, I just keep wanting to double check to make sure. And then down over here as well, we're gonna get some more crops. Still 35 tons available. I mean, jeez, you know, 12 tons goes a long way, doesn't it? I wonder if we do something like this. Let's go ahead and go to there, and then you go to there, and you go to there. Let's try it. Let's try that. Let's just see how that works in terms of timing. Unload 100% of the crops. Wait until unloaded. And wait until unloaded. Because we just delivered crops to the food factory. And it's still using those crops. Food is being stored, I assume, onto this. Yep. Yeah. And then by the time... Oh, basically what I want to see is... If by the time the... Ah, uh, crap. Okay, no, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. Stay on it. Unfortunately, it's too late now. I want to see if, like, one loop of going to the food factory and back, and then to the distillery, and back to the grain storage, is enough time. It looks like it would approximately be enough time. Maybe. But at the same time, we're racing against this truck as well. <laughs> God damn. God damn. Alright, well, you're working on that. This thing is still waiting on some concrete. Fantastic. What, uh... Yeah, we got a couple of construction offices using it. And what's the deal over here with traffic? Come on, guys. This thing is getting some action. I want to see what it does. Like, what are you carrying? Are you carrying vehicles? Oh, looks like it might be carrying vehicles. Nope, it's just parking. Great. It's just parking. So now you're going to load up on 12 tons and take it to the distillery. Yeah, I, I, well, timing's a little whack over here because this vehicle's here right now, dropping off crops a little bit. Oh my god, this is painful. I want to see what happens there as well. But yeah, you're coming down over here. Train's on its way out. There might be a little a bit of lag, I suppose we can call it, in terms of uh, food to 
like waiting for food. But now you have plenty of crops to make alcohol with. So I mean, hopefully that'll help. It's fine to think we're just abandoning some of our older exports. We just don't need them anymore. Good construction progress over here on these tracks. It's great to see. Uh, looking like we're okay over here. Not gonna build that if I don't have to. And looking like we're okay over here as well. Yeah, I feel like we're all coming from this side now. I think the uh, computer learned its lesson. And you, you're actually carrying a fair number of workers down to Farminsky. That's good. Carrying more workers than we need to down to Farminsky. Don't know how I feel about that. And I'm waiting still on some of these construction sites to be completed before I allow people to move over here. Just in case you guys were wondering why I haven't rushed this out. Once I do, though, I think things will work a lot more smoothly over here. And actually, on the topic of our, like, unemployment and homeless and adults living with their parents. I wish you could actually see where all these folks were living right now. We got 10k. We've had 10k for a while. And is that because we aren't emptying places out? It's starting to feel a little bit like it. Maybe we should empty this area out a little bit. Because these guys can walk... To some of these working areas. Not all of them. Hmm. Nope, I say we wait. I say we wait. No need to rush it. No need to rush it. Apologies for that edit there. A little bit of a sneezing fit. <laughs> Again, sorry about that. Uh, but we're back at it and... Uh, okay, we're fine over here. Let's go ahead and see what the deal is down over here. Meat topped up. Food topped up. Okay, good stuff. This vehicle in here with meat still waiting. That's fine. You can stay there as long as the food truck keeps going back and forth. Now, it's looking like what's happening over here. Now, let's see what the deal is over here. You arrive. You wait. You pick up the food as much as you can. And you wait until you're loaded. But you can't be loaded because there's not enough food over here. So you don't wait until you're loaded. You get going. Buddy comes through. I feel like we might need to do a road cargo station over here. Hmm. I feel like that's almost a necessity. Just because, like, right now we're being pretty inefficient. And the road cargo station, I think we saw... There was, um... If I could ever find it again. The road cargo station has, uh, three or four drop-off points, was it? Yeah, it's four drop-off points. Oh, that's huge. Drop-off and pick-up, obviously. Love to, like, slot it right in there. But yeah, we might need to do something like this, have the factory connection, then have a bridge over here, and have the connection from here to actually connect to the uh, cargo station. We could try that. I think it would look pretty neat as well. Eh, I think it'd look pretty neat. And we need this road, unfortunately, so not going to do anything there. Sure. Alright, sure. Let's go ahead and see how this might work. If this might work. And again, we'll just pay for it out of pocket. We've got the money. I'll put you... <sighs> need a free excavator. God. Like I said, willing to pay for it. Go ahead and flatten you over here. Okay, drop you off over there. Um, go ahead and pause for a second as we deal with the road stuff. Cancel. Where is our waypoint? That's our waypoint, eh? I wonder if we can keep the waypoint. Get our factory connection. Nah, I want this to connect over here. It's fine, it's not the end of the world. We still have... Nope, don't have the waypoint anymore. That's okay. We can connect you. Can the road, however, become a bridge on such short notice, so to speak, for lack of a better term? Uh, I keep forgetting bridge. You gotta actually build the bridge separately. Nah, it cannot. It cannot. Okay, fair enough. So, here's what we'll need to do. We'll need to go ahead and cancel you. Okay, uh, we'll need to go ahead and build... I mean, I could build a bridge first. It's gonna be expensive. Kind of a bummer having to spend all this money. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We made our bed, now I have to lay in it. 
Go ahead and line you up there instead. Okay. Go ahead and get our connection there. Let's go ahead and... Because here we have a little bit more give. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and say you cancel contract. Let this vehicle kind of come here and leave. Of course this gets built because I forget to cancel it. It's fine. We have so much money. I don't know why I'm fretting about money so much still. What we'll probably do is build uh, a nice road connection over here. We don't need all these lights. I'm going to have to redo the waypoints and stuff. Uh, it's not in the, not the end of the world. Because what I'll do is I'll put this waypoint down over like here. Right. So I'll come through that way. Okay, good stuff. Let's go ahead and cancel this road. Let's go ahead and build the bridge. Hmm. The bridge like so. Thought I saw it turn green at one point. Like so. Wow, so you can do this. <laughs> Come on, game. What is this nonsense? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I want it to look good as well. Cancel that. Nope, because something's using it. There we go. And those of you asking why I don't do bridges more often, here's a sampling. We can do this. Hold on. Turn off auto build. I'll pay for it afterwards. We can do this. Can we also do this. No, we cannot. Of course not. Oh, we can do this. This game sometimes, I swear. Um, let's see. Let's see. Too sharp of a turn. Great. Glad I checked. Honestly, tempted to do that. Looks goofy as hell, but... If it works, it works, I guess. Doesn't work on this side, though, of course. I also don't like having that, like, launch pad ramp nonsense going on. It seems so wrong. Um... Okay. We got this, we got this. We got this. See, that, there's no reason this shouldn't work. Come on, game. I got a beautiful thing here if you just work for me. We might not be able to do the bridge. I don't think we're able to do the bridge. So if I just made an asphalt road... Right? Let's see what we can do. Don't really want vehicles going all the way around this way. Uh... If I do this, come on, come on, come on. Okay, if I do that, loop you up this way. This has become such an undertaking. Uh, let's get the wireframe up. Loop you up this way. Try this. Okay, let's loop you up to there and pull you down. Nope, that's not gonna work for me. Cancel you a little bit. Loop you down this way. Okay. I can do that. So let's see. What's going on? Vehicle comes through. It goes to the cargo road cargo station because that's where it's gonna drop things off, but also pick things up from. And then it's done, and it wants to go to the shopping area, so it leaves up this way to go here. Like... Oh, not like that. Like... Not like that either. 
like. Not like that either. We got this. We got this. It's coming through, folks. If I do it in this direction. Almost. Oh, goddamn. This game, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes... <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm fine. Yes, there we... Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon, Elite. Ah, yeah, is that the right... No. Almost. Last time. L last go. I will accept this, I think. I think I have to. God damn it, I can't. So it's just short of that is where it needs to be, I think. Oh. Good enough. Cool. All right. So vehicles come through here. This is only for uh, like a fire, fire uh, truck, like emergency services. The direct access to the warehouse. Nothing else needs direct access to the warehouse. Right? Question mark? I think so. I think so. So let's make sure all of you are actually moving to... Well, I need to wait until it's built. <laughs> this better work. After all this time and money I've invested in it, this better work. I actually didn't need to have this huge gap over here. Too late. I've already spent the money. It's too late. Unload everything here. Okay, get rid of the warehouse. Get rid of the warehouse. You, let's let's go ahead and do all this first. Go over here and unload your crops. Get rid of you. Okay. You. Don't go to the warehouse. Or the cargo station. Go to, I said, the cargo station. Wait until loaded. Okay. That should be right. And then this one... You will be going to the road cargo. Unload. All of your food. You should probably check wait until unloaded. On all these. Alright, so that that should be working. Turn off auto build just in case we make some mistakes in the future. Alright, poof, my god, okay. Again, didn't need this long connection over here, but we've got one. It's not like it makes a difference. The only difference it makes is in cost. Uh, and you know what? For all intents and purposes, the space looks pretty. I'll take it. It fills this area up a little bit. I'll take it. I'll accept it. This is this is how city planning actually is. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. I think I can double speed things as well. You are all out of livestock, so let's finally drop you off. We'll go back to the warehouse. This is all going smoothly. All going according to plan. Alcohol is being made. Food is being made. Crops are being brought. Meat is being made. This is good. This is good. It's a lot of crops. Okay, I think adding one more wagon. I, I don't want to do two more wagons. I feel like that's going to cause some serious traffic issues. One more wagon seems like the ideal length. And that should solve a lot of our issues. Now, what's the deal up over here as well? People are coming through. Steel is being made. Steel is not being shipped out, though. We should maybe bring that back into... Into fashion, exporting steel. Where is our steel train? Why are we... Why are we doing this? I see. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and adjust you to load. 30%, let's say. I want the rest making mechanical components. Second of all, let's go ahead and tell you to go fine. It's really weird that it doesn't... Oh, I see why. Let's go ahead and make this a two-way. That should work, hopefully. Still not able to go through? You should be able to go through now. Nope, still not. Alright, fair enough. In that case, here's what we'll do. 
Oh, I see why, because this is only connected to that side. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. So let's go ahead, we'll add this stop, but you're not going to do anything over here. It's just kind of a, kind of a pass-through. Go from there, over to there. Go from there, you should be coming to here. Okay. And don't do anything. And now I believe it is coming through. Yeah, okay, that's it. It just needed a way to get to its destination. Fair enough. That's been, it's been a while since it's been doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my, where's my train? God damn. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. This is why I sometimes like to pause. Let's go ahead and get this drop off done and then I'll loop it back and, and take it to the, to the depot. I don't want to take it, I do not want to take it into the depot when it's carrying products. All right, so food and meat over here right now is a thing. This cargo station is hopefully being used to good effect. Still kind of kicking myself over this whole ordeal. I wanted the bridge and the bridge didn't happen. I should have just destroyed this and built it over here. But like I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. It says given us some cool shapes. How about that? If nothing else. I want to make sure you guys are using this waypoint over here. I want to make sure you're all using the waypoint. You already are. You already are. As, no, you're not. Okay. The train station. Over to this waypoint. Then over from the train station. This waypoint. And then over. Okay, and then over here from the... Oh, you don't need to use it. Oh, you're going from the cargo station. The other waypoint over there. Then down. Okay. And hopefully actually on the way back as well. Now that I think about it. We'll spot it eventually. We'll be fine. But I, I think that'll be helpful. And are we seeing this construction office use its flatbed yet? I don't think we are. I just don't understand how to force it to do it, basically. Progress over there is being made, though. And progress at these construction sites as well. Concrete has been a bit of a bottleneck for the last little while. Like, it's coming through, but it is taking some time. And, I mean, to be fair, we are making progress. We're making progress. We're making progress. Okay, okay. And the other thing is, again, we haven't been exporting steel. So one of our big money makers is... Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I did it again, didn't I? One of our big money makers has not been making this money. Wow, look at the timing on that. Look at the timing on that. Alright, you know what, folks? We're going to take a nighttime stroll with this train. What are the chances that uh, I remember right as it becomes too late? <laughs> it, al almost like exactly when it becomes too late. Because I just need to catch it before it gets past um, this intersection. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that, is, that is some straight up party elite luck. All right, we're just gonna follow this for a second here. Speed it up, no need to go so slow. And yeah, money's looking okay. Everything's looking fine. It's just a matter of this thing, I think needs another um, car, wagon, you know, whatever you wanna call it. So we can bring some livestock as well. And then we should have meat properly back on the menu. Okay. To the depot, to the depot, to the depot. Okay, hurry it up. Shouldn't be a difficult task. Getting it out of there is going to be a little annoying, I think. Oh no, actually, it will be able to loop around this way. Fair enough. Okay, so you make your way back, and let's go ahead and... Regular speed. Yeah, I think we're just going to add... Like, what's your deal here? Maximum speed is 160. So if we were to buy a new one... 160 seems to be our max, but that is an older thing. Uh, 5100K. You know what? Why not? Why not get an upgrade going here? I'll just sell the locomotive. Oh, I need the instructions from it, don't I? All right, well, let's buy you. Can we? Nice, we can. Beautiful. Love when that works out. We got to add, um,. I guess I can't do it right now. Oh, right, because it doesn't have any cars. Goddamn. 
Uh, so let's see, the box car is what we've had so far. I think the box car is fine, yeah. The so one, two, three. Go ahead and sell you, I think. Let's see. What's your deal? Load you and you. Yep. Get rid of you. Yep. And you're off. Cargo station. Train station. Yeah. Looks good to me. Hopefully it's a little bit faster with that extra engine power. Look at that. It's a fancy looking train. This time with a lot more room for crops. Oh, hello. Is it actually... No way! No way this game models wear and tear. Are you serious? Because those boxcars have been around for so much longer, they're like darker? No no way. That 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 is most certainly an unexpected series of events. Look at that, it's so much brighter and more vibrant. It is absolutely modeling grit and grime and dirt and all that nastiness. While I'm also getting our thumbnail. No idea what I'm going to call this episode. I'll come up with a train pun, hopefully. But yeah, wow, that's actually pretty cool. This game continually impresses me. Livestock is being prepared, so to speak, at the same time as crops are being loaded in. Crops are going to run out at this rate. But that's why we, that's why we pay for them. What's the split going to be? I'm fine with that split. If it keeps being that, I'll be fine with it. Our crops hopefully are still being shipped over. Yeah, we've got so many crops. Cool. Hopefully this is going to go a little bit faster than that. Come on, buddy. Let me see that top speed kicking in. 331 tons being carried right now. It's going to be a slow train. Actually, you know what? You might actually hit top speed. Might actually hit top speed. One, 150. 150. That's not bad. Top speed is 160. Not bad at all. Alright, so now you're gonna head over here. This should solve a lot of our issues. This should solve a lot of our issues. I actually like all the wires and stuff. It feels like a legit, uh... Train station. Like a cargo train station. Alright. So now you come through and you drop off your crops there, there, and there. While meat, or rather livestock, gets added over here. We're just not emptying the meat quickly enough. Wondering what we can do about that. I mean, I know what we can do about that. We can add more trucks to pull the meat away. Food over here is loading up. What's the deal over here? Let's maybe get another refrigerated truck. Because they're not keeping up there. Go ahead and get refrigeration. Where are we? Eight tons? Eight tons feels like too much. Eight tons is too much. Go with two tons. I'm wondering if I get two of them. We'll deal with that later. Let's go ahead and get you over here. Let's start you off. Oh, God damn it! I have to... Go there, then you go... Here, 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 yeah, load all the meat, unload all the meat, cool, simple, and I'm hoping that'll, I might need to get another one, uh, cause I think the issue is that, yeah, this just does, doesn't empty quickly enough, cause I need it to empty before the next, um, train load of livestock comes through, I just realized an issue. This thing should be heading not to here, but to here. No, god damn it. Get to there, and then here it should be the meat storage. There we go. Okay. Unload everything there. I wish it didn't say anything. I wish it I wish it said meat. 
just makes it easier to read. Anyway, sorry. I feel like we've actually kind of solved the problem over here. Somewhat. Last couple times I've checked, food and meat have been okay. We've got food stored up over here. We've got meat stored up over here still. Should be short trips. I think there's a meat carrying truck here right now, so that's good. Feels, feels good. Ish. Feels like we're getting there. Lots of people over here. We are paying for goods that I don't think we should be paying for. That's what's going to change everything. Now uh, this better be able to pull from here and from here. Oh, this had better be able to pull. I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't. This is literally a meat storage. We'll see how that works out. Clothes will be a problem. And electronics we have to pay for. Sure. Clothes will, uh, will start shipping through. But it's good to see people are coming over there. Some people are coming over here. Again, hopefully this, like, spread of demand will help a fair bit as well. Looking pretty good, actually. Looking pretty good. Making progress over here. Yeah, coming along. It's coming along. Workers are coming up over here. Steel is being exported finally as well. Mechanical components are also being exported. Oh my god, they make so much money. Uh, that's gone well. Looks like all this is progressing well. Yeah, see, we get uh, bogged down over here, unfortunately. Maybe I should send some things directly into the... Um, into the slaughterhouse so that they're not, you know, caught up over here, stuck behind another truck. Because these things, man, they take some time. They take some time, don't they? Oh, 110 tons of crops up over here. Alright, I'm feeling really good about this situation. Yeah, looks like uh, this, this additional wagon and just waiting for that unloading has really helped us along the way. Looks like we're making some progress over here as well. Some facades are being put up and whatnot, so this is all good. This was overall, folks... A good session, but this is, as you might be able to tell, where we're going to call it. Really unfortunate, we've ended up a little bit below where we started, financially speaking. But overall, this year is still, uh, ooh, last month was expensive. This year is still uh, in the green. Last month, I mean, again, we did a lot of constructing, construction work over here. Nonetheless, decent progress, I think. I mean, you guys let me know what you guys think. I think that went well. I feel like we're almost ready for the second city. Every time I think we're ready for the second city, I kind of go like, no, there's a little bit I can make better. But, I mean, you guys let me know. Should we get the, the TV office and the radio office here first? Office? Station? Whatever the word is. Maybe we do that first, and that'll also allow us to massage all these final few issues we have and then move on to that second city. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. As always... A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, Das Vidanya.